My name is Richard Curtis. I work for Adobe. I'm a solutions consultant with a focus on digital imaging. Today we're going to look at Lightroom and how we're going to rank and order our pictures for editing later inside Lightroom. We can see in the film strip at the bottom of Lightroom all the images have been imported. They currently exist in the external drive but that's okay because Lightroom is able to see them as we explored earlier in the import session. The film strip is available everywhere inside Lightroom. That's why it's really handy to use. So it doesn't matter if I go from library to development to the map, I can still see my film strip and get access to my pictures. So it's more reliable to use that than use a grid in the middle of the screen. There are many ways to refine your pictures inside Lightroom and to decide which pictures you want to work on as you're uh, going through the Lightroom editing process. I'm going to show you two of which I use on a regular basis. So I have experience of, of those and I think are the easiest ones to learn. The two mechanisms we're going to look at today are pick and unpick or what's called the flag system. We're also going to look at the star ranking system or the star rating system inside Lightroom which I use a lot and um, I think it's more flexible than the pick unpick system but a lot of people use uh, the pick unpick system as well. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start on the first image inside the film strip. So let's just select that now. Okay, and you can see that's highlighted in a light grey. Now, there's two modes, or there's multiple modes that Lightroom can be in when we're ranking and working with our images. One is the lights out mode. A lights out mode will enable us to dim the hood around the picture to give us focus on what we're looking at. So I'm just going to move the grid mode that we currently have into single view mode. And to do that, I'm going to click on the little single mode icon just here in the bottom of the screen. And you can see there now that my picture that I've selected already is displayed in the middle. Now, to turn lights out on is really easy. We can just press the L key on the keyboard. And you can see there that the hood dims by 80%. If I push the L key once more, it'll dim all the way to black. So we can just see the image. And if we press the L key again, it will go back to the full hood. We may want to make the, screen, the image bigger on the screen to do this work. And to do that, we can use the Shift and Tab key. And the Shift and Tab key will hide the panels behind the hood. To turn the panels back on again, we can just press the Shift and Tab key once again, like so. And you can see the image gets smaller. I want to go through these images and make sure that I pick and unpick the ones that I like. So as we're going through the pictures, I want to make my life really, really easy. And to do that, I'm going to turn something on called Auto Advance. And Auto Advance will automatically move from one picture to the next as soon as I push a key or do something in Lightroom. The Auto Advance feature is available under Photo, Auto Advance. And we click this and select that option. And that turns Auto Advance on. So let's just do the pick and unpick for a few images so you can see how that works. I'm going to dim the hood by press the L key. Now remember, I could also press the Shift and Tab key to make the image bigger and remove the panels. But I'm just going to leave it as it is for now and just do pick and unpick. The pick and unpick is really enabling me to choose a picture I like or the picture I don't like and maybe the picture I want to remove later from Lightroom. So those keyboard shortcuts are P for pick, U for unpick and X for reject. Let's just do that now. So you can see a picture here. I don't like it very much, um, so I'm going to use a uh, reject and push the X key. And you can see once I push the X key, Lightroom moves on to the next picture. This one I quite like, and I think I could do something with this in the edit. So I'm going to choose P for pick. And you can see as I do that with the keyboard, the P for pick comes up on the screen. The next picture is the same as the last one. So for this instance, I'm going to choose P for pick, then I get a different picture, and I like this one as well, so I choose for P for pick. This one I'm not sure about, so I'm going to choose U for unpick. And you can see as I go on and on, I go through the end of my film strip, and I can pick and unpick the pictures that I want to, I want to use. So let's just come out of the lights out mode using the L key twice. One, two. And let's look at what's happening in the film strip. If I zoom into the film strip, you can see that there's little white flags on the images. And if it hasn't been picked, it'll be a dimmed out flag. 
So we can see there we've also got a black flag. Now black flag is rejected. So there's a couple of things we can do. The first thing is that we can remove any rejected pictures if we want to do. We don't have to, but you may want to. So inside the photo you have something called delete rejected photographs. If you click on this, it will show you the two that have been marked for reject and ask you if you'd like to remove them from the catalog or remove them from the catalog and remove them from the disk. If you remove from the disk, it will physically get rid of the picture. So you may or may not want to do that. That's up to you. But I'm just going to say remove. This will remove them from the catalog. So I won't see them again inside this catalog, but I haven't removed them from the computer or the disk. So I can still bring them back if I want to use them again. So we only want to work on the images that we've picked. There's an easy way to do that is by choosing in the little combo box in the bottom right of the screen. If I click on flagged, the film strip will then be reduced and show me just the images that I've picked for this selection. So you can see here now that I have five pictures and these pictures are ready for editing a little bit later on. So that's how to use pick and unpick inside Lightroom. Let's look at something different, a bit more powerful. Let's look at the star rating system. So I'm just going to reset this filter and I'm going to say filters off and everything gets displayed again. I'm at the beginning of the film strip and that's where I want to be. And now I want to go through and mark these using the number keys one to five. And one to five is going to apply a star system. Now, you could say that number one is the least favorite you could see number five is my favorite picture, and those are the ones I want to work on. And that's okay. But what you may think about doing is only using something like one to three, and you can use four and five then in the future to show improvement in your photography. I'm gonna do that today. I'm just gonna use one to three and leave four and five alone for now. Because in five years time, I may want to see how I've improved, and I can do that using the star system. This works exactly the same as previously with the pick and unpick system. I just push the number of key that I wish to mark the image with. But I'm going to show you something different that came out in Lightroom 5, and that is a way to show the image as full screen. So previously we showed lights out, and lights out was great in everything before Lightroom 5. In Lightroom 5 we introduce full screen, and the full screen is enabled using the F key. And Lightroom will show me a full screen render of that image. Now I can really look at the image in, in full detail and say if I like it or not. So you can see now I'm in full screen mode. Once I'm in full screen mode, I can then look at the picture that I want to work on later and I can rank it. Now for the ranking, I'm going to use numbers one, two, or three. One is going to be for it's okay. I may or may not use it. Two is, well, I like it, but I may work on it after I've worked on the main edit and three is the ones I want to work on on this edit. Now I'm going to go through this process twice. One is a very quick edit to see if I like the image or not, just to get to a point where I've got a, a, a smaller number of pictures to work on. Then I'll go through it again in much more detail and more of a critique view of the image. So here's the first picture. I quite like that again. So I'm going to choose number three because I want to keep that. And you can see when I do that, the three indicator comes up at the bottom of the screen and it will auto advance to the next picture because we've got auto advance turned on still. Um, this one, again, it's the same picture. So let's put three there. And you can see it moves on to the next one and so forth. So I'm just gonna go through these very quickly and just put some in. Uh, this one, two. This one, three. This one, two. One, three, and so on and so forth. And I get a nice selection. I'm not really thinking about which picture I've chosen and if I really, you know, if compositionally, if it's good or not. It's just that if I like it, it's a very quick emotional response. And this is the way I tend to edit. But now I want to come out of full screen mode and refine that selection. So I can press the F key. You can see at the bottom of each picture on the film strip, I have a number of stars for each image. I can use the filter system again. On the right hand side of the screen, I can click on filter and I can click on rated. Now the rated system comes up and it gives me access to this little star indicator over here. The star system also has a way to filter it. I may want to filter 
the rating which is greater than or equal to the number of stars I select, or if the rating is less than or equal to the number of stars I select, or if the rating is equal to. So I'm going to keep it on greater than or equal to, which is the default, and that's how Lightroom comes prepared. So I just, that's ticked, so I know it's going to work. And then I choose the third star in, and I'd like to show all the three star photographs. And you can see there that we have a nice selection of three star images. So the first pass of this should be really, really quick. And you just get to a point where you're seeing the images that you want to work on. I then want to go through these in more detail. Now, I know that there's two pictures in there or more of the same scene. So let's just work on those two first of all before we do a final edit. Pictures of the same type, let's just select these two so you can see them. I'm just going to turn on something called survey mode. Survey mode will allow me to see the pictures side by side. And the reason we do this is because images by themselves are really strong. When you put them up against something else, one is stronger than the other one. So it's a nice way to compare the two images. So I would say no more than four or five, but you can do more. There's, there's no limit, but you can, you can do more. So let's just choose survey mode. Survey mode is this little box here with the three little um, darker boxes inside it. And then what that will do is it will turn Lightroom into a loop viewer so we can then see the pictures side by side. I'm just going to use the shift and tab to hide the panels away and I'm going to use a lights out mode to dim the hood. So L for lights out. Notice I'm not using full screen here because I want to see them side by side. A full screen will show me a single picture. So you can see here there's two pictures. They are exactly the same. So for my selection, all I need to do is pick one that's that I like it's stronger than the other one. All I'm going to do is set the one that I don't like and give it a number two. So remember that this is a selection to get me all the threes. So I choose number two and that will hide that from this selection because it's not part of the filter system anymore. And then shift and tab and then L to bring it back. There's also two other pictures in there that are very similar. So let's just go to those and look at how we use server mode on those two. I'm just going to use the shift key to select a range of images, but I could also use the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC to do this as well. And let's just turn off the panels using shift and tab, and let's turn Lightroom into lights out mode. And you can see here that these two pictures are very different. By themselves, they are strong, but when they're together, they're not quite as strong. So let's have a look which one's stronger. Now, this is entirely up to you, and this is really a critique on how you like to compose your pictures. Um, but for me, the strongest one is this one on the right hand side. So I'm going to keep that one, so I want to disregard the other one. So to disregard it, I just click on it with my mouse or my pen and press the number two key and that will get rid of it from the selection. I can then press L for lights out twice and then shift and tab to bring back the hood. And you can see there now that I have my range of pictures. Now, what I may want to do is go through all of those again on a final selection I can do it one of two ways. I can use survey mode to select them all, or I can go through full screen mode. To do that, I'm just going to park on the first picture that I want in, to be displayed and press the F key. And you can see I'm back to my cowboys on the plane picture, which I really quite like. So I'm just going to use the number three key to keep that as number three. So again, using the same process each time. Now this one, if I'm looking at it, it's okay, um, but I think there's stronger pictures that I may want to work on. So for this one, I'm going to demote to a two. This one I really quite like. I like the way that the spurs are shown at the front and the depth of field is off in the, in the background. And I really like that story it, it tells of the cowboy. So I'm going to keep this picture and use number three. This one I really like because it shows me an opening scene. So I could use that for an opening part of a narrative or a body of work. So I'm going to keep that as a three. So you can see there, we finished the edit. Now, out of the original range of 30 or 40 pictures, we're now down to four. So these four pictures will be used for the edit later in Lightroom. So to summarize, we've looked at two ways that you can rank and rate your pictures inside Lightroom. You can use the pick and unpick method. You can also use the lights out and to hide the panel shift and tab. But you can also use the star rating system to to track your progress, but also track the strong and the weak inside your pictures, ready for editing later. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.